Good morning, everyone. This is Gail Dudley with your News in Motion. Today is Thursday, September the 24th, 2020. So we are almost to the weekend. Um, so good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Oscar. I want to start. Good morning, Brenda Randleman. I want to start with um, some quick headlines and then um, I'll back up and do the rest of the news. Um, I'll try to get this in as quickly as possible today. Um, yeah, this this entire episode is um, dedicated to Brianna Taylor. This entire episode is um, dedicated to Brianna Taylor. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Pastor Alex. Um, I just I think I, I just wanted to do it today. So this entire episode is dedicated to Brianna Taylor. So here are your quick headlines. Good morning, Deborah Johnson. Um, Johnson and Johnson announced yesterday its COVID-19 vaccine candidate has entered entered phase three clinical trials. Um, they are becoming they are they became the fourth company to reach the final stage of testing. I'm still not taking it. Uh, uh, Tesla sues the Trump administration's oh, Trump administration over tariffs on Chinese-made electronic components in its autopilot software. <coughs> Excuse me. An investigation by Senate Republicans into corruption allegations against Biden and his son found no evidence of improper influence or wrongdoing in uh, Ukraine. But did y'all know that the Ukraine gas company uh, Rick Perry served on the Board of Energy Transfer before beginning the administration returned to his role shortly after leaving the administration? So let's talk about that. Um, a former National Security Council official said political appointees in the White House asked her to sign a declaration falsely asserting that John Bolton had revealed classified material in his books. In his book, there's another thing. Y'all, this is so much. Um, NBC reports that the DHS re awarded $6 million in contracts to firm where acting Secretary Wolf's wife is an executive. There's that. CNN, Dr. Burke has questioned how long she can remain on the White House task force for the coronavirus. Um, she sees Dr. Scott Atlas, a recent addition to the task force, as an unhealthy influence to Donald Trump's thinking when it comes to the virus. So she's thinking about stepping down. The CDC director of uh, uh, Redfield faces calls for his resignation after disagreeing with um, the man in the Oval. And y'all, Citibank has made a hefty pledge to earmark over $1 billion for initiatives that help close the U.S. racial wealth, wealth gap and provide economic resources for people of color. So that's, those are your headlines this morning. That's a lot. That's a lot. So let me go back to, let me give you the coronavirus numbers real quick. Um, in the U.S., um, there are 7,139,553 cases. There are 206,593 deaths. There are 4,398,907 recovered. And good morning to everyone. I saw several of you pop in, so good morning to you. So that's the coronavirus numbers. All right, so let's back up. I, I, as I started out this morning, I said I was dedicating this entire episode to Breonna Taylor. Y'all, 195 days of protests and no charges directly related to the murder of Breonna Taylor. 195 days and no charges directly related to her. Um, the one charge was the police officer who fired a shot into neighboring, I guess several shots, into neighboring apartments, and he was booked and released on a $15,000 bond. Um, so again, there's another day of injustice for black, for a black woman, for black people. Um, and so I want to say her name again, Brianna Taylor. And this morning, I just started th thinking about Sandra Bland as well. Um, and there are many, many countless other women. There are many, many, many countless um, bl uh, black brothers and sisters who have um, died in the hands of the police. Um, and I think what got me yesterday was here we have our this 34-year-old attorney general in Kentucky who was groomed pretty much by Mitch McConnell 
who married Mitch McConnell's niece. Um, and, and it just is like, do you know that this could happen to you if you're not in your government car with your government tags and whatever else can go on with that? Um, it just, it, when, I, when I watched that yesterday, I sat there saying, I should be shocked, but I'm not really shocked. Um, saying, are you kidding me? We're here again. Um, what is it going to take? Um, God, are you hearing us? Do you see us? God, are you still paying attention to us? God, we are suffocating. God, we are about to lose it. God, help us hold it together. I had several emotions on yesterday. And I came back to this, that we have to continue to say her name. And her name is Brianna Taylor. So we have to. So here's my question. So even as that was going on on yesterday, we had the occupant of the Oval. And I had to keep rewinding the soundbite to make sure I heard him correctly. And I did. During his press conference, y'all, he said these words. Uh, a reporter asked him a question about um, about uh, the election, and these were the words he said. And my question is, is there a line for this man anywhere? He said, in response to the reporter, and this is a quote, direct quote, get rid of the ballots and there won't be a transfer of power. There will be continuation. What ballots are you wanting to get rid of? What, what are you saying? Um, and then there was a, a, an article that was released by The Atlantic, and I did not write down the title of the article. But in that, in that interview, the article with The Atlantic, um, the occupant of the Oval and, the, uh, and, and his campaign are trying to call, create a state of emergency in each state with each secretary of state to... to choose their own electorates. Are we seriously here? So this is what I'm asking all of you to do, because this is not a game. This is not a game. And we need to send, we cannot get weary right now, y'all. We need to send a message. And that message is we must register to vote, and then we must vote, because this is not a game. So if I seem heavy this morning, I am. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. It's like, what is happening? Again, I just want to read these quotes before I go on. His quote, his quote out of his mouth. I listened to it. I, I, I rewound it several times. Now you can, can go back on the DVR to check it out. And it says, in response to a reporter, he says, get rid of the ballots and there won't be a transfer of power. There will be a continuation. That was his quote. That was his quote. Um, so he he refuses. And the question was something about, um, uh, are you going to commit to a peaceful transfer of power? Something like that, the, the, the reporter asked him. But he refused. He refused to commit to a peaceful transfer of power if he, was, if he were to lose. So y'all, again, this is not a game. So we must register to vote and we must vote. That quote, when I say this is on the ballot, that quote is on the ballot for us. That's what we need to be looking at. That's what we need to be sharing with other people. That's called a dictatorship. And this is America. This is, this, this should not, these, these, these words should not even be coming out of um, his mouth. So y'all, we need to know the rules to voting. Okay, and here's the truth, no matter how many times he sends this narrative that um, he's telling his base to vote twice, that's illegal. We cannot do that. So know the rules. You cannot do that. If you have requested an absentee application and you have turned that back in, then that is how you're going to vote because that application is going to come to you. If you're going to early vote, early vote, y'all. We have to have a plan. This is what I mean. This is what everyone is saying about having a plan. Also, you saw what happened in Virginia. I believe it was on Friday. There were um, the opposition, the Trump supporters who were trying to block people from voting in line in Virginia. Do not go alone. Take two or three people with you. I plan to early vote in Ohio on October the 6th, and I am not going alone. 
because where I go is in a really um, strange place. Um, so I'm not going alone. So do not go alone. Have a plan, y'all. Have a plan. Um, again, y'all, IWillVote.com, Vote.gov. And if you want to add those in there, fine. Or if you just want to share it, fine. Vote.org. When we all vote.org, uh, readypublication.com, and click the ready to vote campaign icon, rockthevote.org. And y'all know I've given y'all so many other resources. Keep going, keep encouraging people to register to vote and then to vote. Vote behind that. I looked at the thread, how many of you po posted in there, how many people you contacted during the National uh, Voter Registration Day, which was on Tuesday. Phenomenal. That's great, but based upon this quote, we cannot stop. We cannot stop. Um, again, in Maryland, I believe it's October the 13th is your last day to register to vote. Ohio is October the 5th. Many, place, many places are October the 5th. Um, I think October the 13th may be the latest day you can register to vote in some places, but check your Secretary of State's office to find out that, that information. Please do that, y'all. So, we are in the middle of this right now. This is happening right now. And today marks 40 days, 40 days before the election, 40 days. So the question is, what are we going to do about everything that's happening? Louisville, what the occupant just said, this whole uh, U.S. mail thing. There, people are reporting that their blue mailboxes have not returned. Just so much is happening. What are we going to do? Well, I'm happy to share with you, and many people are starting today, I need a day to get prepared, so I'm starting tomorrow. Uh, many people are joining um, Bishop Tim Timothy Clark um, here at First Church of God in Columbus, Ohio, along with faith leaders around the nation as they call a ch the church to fast and pray. Yes, this is news in motion, but y'all know I'm a believer, so y'all know I always give an insp inspirational message, so this is my message. I am joining them. They are, uh, many of them are beginning tomorrow as well, September the 25th through November the 3rd. They're calling the people to fast and pray. When I saw this on yesterday, yesterday evening on um, Bishop Clark's Facebook page, I said, that's what I have to do. Now, I don't know what your fast looks like for you, but I know what I'm going to do, but I am going to fast and pray. And I won't start today. I will start tomorrow and I will go to um, November the 3rd. So if you know anybody who wants to join us in this time of fasting and prayer before this election, please call them to do so. Um, there's a hashtag that is being used by the church community, which is hashtag protect the vote, hashtag protect the vote. So as you are doing your social media platform, use hashtag protect the vote, hashtag protect the vote. If you want to find out more of what Bishop Timothy Clark is doing along with other clergy around the nation, you can go to www.turnoutsunday.com. Again, that's www.turnoutsunday.com. So that's happening. <sighs> all right, y'all. Can y'all say, and all I could think about yesterday when I was, um, I felt the same call. Yeah, Demia. Yeah, yeah. We have to, y'all. We have to. Um, our, 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 the climate in America is very heavy. It's very heavy. Um, I think for me, and I can only speak for myself, after the verdict yesterday, and even when I was watching the uh, Attorney General um, uh, give the report, and, and he, I, I guess he got emotional. I can't judge him. I don't know. I just kept sitting there going, you know, this could be you. If you're in your unmarked car, if you're in a, license, in a car without the license plate that has been um, listed with your office, this could be you. This could be you. Um, you know, you're going to charge somebody or the grand jury is going to charge somebody for, uh, charge the officer for firing shots in a neighboring apartment, that danger. But you're not going to charge somebody for murdering somebody while they, while they slept, while they slept. Mm -mm, that's just happy. So yeah, we got to pray. We got to fast and pray. Like not the one was like, I'm going to just give up movies. No, fast and pray. Do the whole thing, whatever that looks like for you. But don't, don't play around with it, y'all. We have to pray. We really do have to pray. All right, y'all. So to give it just a little um, 
change the mood just a little bit. When I saw this yesterday morning, all I could think about, and y'all know I like me some Beyonce, I don't care what y'all think. Um, uh, when I saw that, I was like, when they lined, when those law clerks lined up, I said, get information, get information. Uh, Justice Ruth um, Bader Ginsburg, uh, former law, law clerks lined up to honor her on the Supreme Court steps. More than 100 clerks from Ginsburg career whom the court said were there to serve as honorary pallbearers, stood guard to meet her casket as it arrived. That was a beautiful sight. And all I could think of again was get information. So there's that. So let's just continue to just um, honor her legacy, which means, you know, show up. I saw a meme going around that said, uh, show up to vote and say, Ruth sent me. That's how we should roll up in there. Ruth sent me. Um, per CNBC, y'all, judge orders Eric Trump to testify. He has until October the 7th to do so, and they ain't playing with him. And this is all about the Yakima of the Ovals company. All right, y'all, so I wanted to give y'all some debate news before I sign off, so let me give you some debate Some debate news. I did some um, more research. Hopefully, you did the first part of your homework assignment on yesterday. This is your second part of the homework assignment. Um, there are several things that we need to look for in the upcoming debate. There are three. Um, in the upcoming one, this is what I've heard so far that Chris Wallace is going to. Yeah, yeah that's right. Ruth and John sent me. That's right. Uh, and Elijah Cummings and, and uh, VT Vivian, all of them, they, they sent us to come vote. Um, um, immigration, Chris Wallace is going to be heavy on immigration. He's going to be heavy on the climate crisis with the fires and the hur hurricanes that are happening. He's going to talk about the health care. Um, Chris Wallace is also going to talk about um, uniting America, which also includes um, racial justice. Those are the first things they wrote out that Chris Wallace is going to be asking questions for on at the Tuesday night debate that's happening in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, but I did some more digging just to see what the other uh, moderators may be bringing up during this time. So whatever one of these um, jump out at you, do your research so you know what's currently happening. You know what bills or legislation is on the table. You know how um, local candidates have voted. Again, y'all, it's not just the top two. It's everybody. We got to vote on every level because every level connects to the top two who are running for office. Every level, y'all. Every level. Every level. And you don't want to hear this. I know you don't. I don't want to hear it. I don't even want to say it. But let me just be honest here. Let's just say, and I've been saying this for two weeks now, let's just say the occupant of the oval gets in. Let's just say. However he gets in, let's just say he gets in. What are we going to do? Well, what's important is to lock down the Senate and the House so he can't do much. And, you know, I know the first thing will be on their docket to do. I won't say it out loud. But anyway, so it's important to vote to every level, including county, your local, your, your school board, everything, all the way up to the top two. So please do that. Some of you are saying, I, I can't vote for either one at the top. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. But okay, still go and vote and vote for everything else. Now, I do beg of you to vote even for that top office. Vote, vote, people, please vote. So I went and I started looking what else is on, on up for the debate. So again, I'm going to read out this list. It's a pretty long list. I'm going to read out a list. I'm going to be as, fat, as quick as possible. And if there's something that interests you, then you check into it because that's what you want to pay attention to during the debate. All right, so here we go. Immigration, climate crisis, economy, building a stronger economy, a fair economy. Healthcare, affordable and quality healthcare. Remember what I said the other day, on November the 10th, the Supreme Court Justice will determine the pre-existing conditions in the Affordable Care Act. COVID-19 is now classified as a pre-existing condition to people. So anybody, anyone who, and what I tell y'all, four million and something, that, that there are four million and something cases, or no, seven million and something cases, there are 4 million and something I've recovered. 7 million and something cases. That means 7 million and, and whatever the number is cases. That's how many people won't be able to get health care under pre-existing conditions if this passes on November the 10th with the Supreme Court Justice. 
Also, speaking of this other Supreme Court justice, continue to contact your representatives. Why? Because even in his soundbite yesterday, when he talked about get rid of the ballots, y'all, that came out of his mouth. Google it. You can see it for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Google it. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get rid of the ballots. That came out of this man's mouth. But he also said that's why he needs to hurry up and get his Supreme Court justice in there because they will be the ones who will determine the election. Where did that come from and why? So, y'all, there's more to it. There's more to it. There's more to it. Foreign policy, racial justice, protecting Americans and, receive, and uh, receiving from the COVID-19 pandemic. We got to just, you know, protect Americans and make sure that they are getting everything they need from the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Reforming our, our criminal justice system. That's on the ballot, y'all. We need to be seeing during this debate how they answering how they are answering that question. Um, uniting America, human rights, uh, reforming campaign finance systems, uh, gun violence, violence against women, uh, protecting disability rights, protecting LBGTQ plus. And I think I missed a couple of, of initials there. Please forgive me if somebody knows that entire line. To me, I'm sure you do. Please put that in there. Um, and, and their rights protecting women's rights, global economy, and trade. That's a long list. So when you're watching that debate, we had an assignment yesterday that I gave everyone. Hopefully you did it. And if you want to find that out, just go to my YouTube and click uh, uh, youtube.com backslash Gail Dudley and look at news in motion from yesterday's date, uh, which was September 23rd. But here's all the information, y'all. Yes, I, I gave you a lot today, a lot. Hopefully I did not overwhelm you at all. I gave you a lot. Um, I gave you several headlines, many headlines. So for the win today, for the win today, everybody black, we all win. Everybody black. Thank you, Demia, LGTBQIA+. Thank you, thank you, Demia, and their rights, protecting their rights. Um, Oh, and so then the light's going to flash. That means my, my light's about to die. It's all good. So anyway, everybody blacks for the win. Everybody black. We have been suffering. We have been holding on. We have been raising our voices. We have been protesting. We are registering to vote. We are registering other people to vote. We are having some sleepless nights, but we are still getting up facing what's happening uh, to us and for us the next day. We aren't, you know, we may have to step aside and say, Lord, help me, but we come back in. We're ready to rumble. We're ready to fight. Again, join Bishop Timothy Clark and clergy all around the nation for 40 days of fasting. Some people are starting today. I'm starting with him tomorrow. I just need one day to get my head straight. But y'all, this is a serious time for, for, for all of us to, to get information like they did on the Supreme Court justice, uh, Supreme Court steps yesterday for justice uh, Ginsburg, the law clerks. Y'all, it's time for us to get information. I know we're tired. We, we, we rested up until Labor Day. Y'all, now we got to go full full steam of head. We have to. We have to. All right, y'all. Tomorrow, I'm going to be answering your questions, giving you more information on how to prepare for the debate watching for Tuesday. Um, hi, Pastor Dennis. How are you? Um, I also saw Stan Harris come in here. Good morning, Stan Harris. For everyone I did not see your name, please, please don't get mad at me. I try to see names, but I'm also reading quotes because I don't want to give you false information. I want to give you truth. So when I'm looking down, I'm reading a quote. But hello to everyone. Thank you for joining in. Okay, y'all, as I shared yesterday, today, this month is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. Um, and I want you to go to this website. Somebody please log this website in there. www. We got to make sure you put that part in there. Dot KT. That's K as in kite, T as in Tom. KT dash D as in David, T as in Tom, P as in Paul. Dot org. So www. KT dash D. TP.org. Um, they are building homes. They are raising money to build homes for um, patients who have sickle cell along with their family, homes that they can live in rent free while they're going through all their treatment. Let's support this nonprofit. That's, um, I, I'm just going to share that information each uh, day this, uh, the last couple of days of this week. All right, y'all, I think that's everything. So again, black people for the win. All black people for the win. We we get the win. Black people for the win today. 
I think that's it, y'all. I think that's it. All right, y'all got to go over to IG. I'm Gail Dudley with your news and much. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, come here. Today, I have water. But tomorrow, come on with your mimosa. Take you a selfie, post it in a thread, and we're going to have a good time. I'm answering questions tomorrow along with giving debate information. So if you have any question, if you have any question, please be sure to send it to my messenger or if you have my phone, my text message, and we can go from there. Thank y'all for putting in the, the link for the nonprofit for Sickle Cell Awareness Month. All right, I got to go. IG, until tomorrow, y'all, peace out. I'm Gail Dudley.